up guys welcome to Airsoft Armada it is yet another gun review this is uh, obviously the uh, P99 Walther blowback gas airsoft pistol and I've been waiting for this one for uh, quite a while but nevertheless it's here and we get to go over it as you can all see it is all black um, it is made by Maruzen so it's uh, mainly plastic made in Japan but it's still good quality so it is a plus. Now, <clears throat> this is a operates on green gas or propane. It's about 330 feet per second. We're going to test that out on the Chrono pretty soon. Um, like I said, it's got blowback. Uh, it's semi-auto. It's uh, single end, double action. I think it's, it's mainly double action. But when you cock it back, <clears throat> you can go to uh, single action, and it has an adjustable hop up. <clears throat> now, uh, this thing is a decocking lever right here as you can see just like the real one um, it's got the friendly orange tip that we've all come to know and love so much I'm sure you guys are ecstatic about that one it's got a rail system as you can see serrations on the front of the trigger guard it has uh, the magazine release just like the real one it has a double stack 24 round magazine it says 18 in the uh, in the uh, in the manual, I don't know why, I don't have to use a different mag overseas. Um, you know, slide release. It's got the takedown lever here. <clears throat> which uh, is just like in the, in the real one. I'm sorry, the firearm one. Firearm version, shall I say. The uh, the rear side is adjustable. Which is pretty cool, from side to side. Um, and it just, it looks, and it feels a lot a lot like the uh, the firearm. Here we can see the chamber indicator that it's loaded. And this red dot is there. When it's poking out, it's obviously ready to go. It's got a three white dot sight, front and rear, for easier target acquisition. Cock it back. You can see how the uh, you can see how it's put into single act. Now here we have the two. I'm sure you can tell which one is which. If you can't, this is the airsoft and this is the firearm version. Obviously, because one does not have the blatant blaze orange tip. So, and this gun is it's been safety checked, there's no bullets. You can see it. So we're good to go here. Safety practice is always there. So uh, obviously this one being plastic, I got some metal slides coming for this soon. It's not going to be as heavy as the real firearm, but for training purposes, I mean, I think it'll do for most people. <clears throat> if they're going to use it for train for the, to train with their firearms. But overall, I mean, it feels and it looks almost exactly, almost identical. It's got full trademarks, I mean, and everything. The Carl Walther here. Um, I mean, it looks really good. The serrations are a little different because this one, as you can see on the slide, if you can make that out, it says Smith & Wesson, Springfield, Mass. Um, and the ones from directly from Germany have a different type of slide serration on the back. And the front trigger guard is different. Um, this, the, the airsoft pistol unloaded it weighs roughly... Uh, just a little over a pound, one and a quarter pounds are underneath that uh, unloaded. So it's a uh, it's a pretty good feel. I mean, uh, once it has the metal slide, it'll be a little it'll give it a little bit better weight, more realistic feel um, if you choose to go that route. But like I said, it's a uh, it's a great pistol either way. Well, I'll take a look at the Chrono, see how this thing shoots. Alright guys, as we can see in the Chrono, this thing is over 330 feet per second, putting it on par with uh, the other top pistols. So I just wanted to go through how to adjust the hop-up. And the slide does need to be removed on this. <clears throat> so the magazine's got to be removed beforehand. This, this catch, this button right here, which is also the safety, pushing it out. It's the safety, it disconnects it. Pushing it back in. And enables it to fire and pull, pull on from both sides pulling it down releases the slide so pulling it down 
slide can come off. As you can see right here, this circle, there's an Allen wrench down inside there. You twist to the right or left to adjust the hop up. And then reassemble it back on. This reassembly can be a little bit tricky. The, this forked piece of metal here needs to be pushed down. And then you can slide it back on. Push the catch back up. And you're good to go. And that's basically it for this review. As always, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment. Subscribe, guys. Thanks a lot.